Our full moon this month comes with a special treat, a total lunar eclipse. Now we've got a couple of names that are thrown around for the month of May. The flower moon because of abundant flowers that grow in the northern hemisphere this time of year, but also it's called the blood moon. Here's the reason why. We take a look at the sun's rays as they head towards Earth. They get scattered and they're going to form a shadow here. And what's going to happen is Earth's going to, uh, going to scatter out the blue light. The atmosphere will scatter out that blue light, but the red light remains. So again, look at how m the moon is going to travel along its orbit. Here's the spin of the Earth. And as that moves around its orbit, it enters into the penumbra with a partial shadow, fully shadowed by the time it enters into the umbra. So it's not going to be a total eclipse all night long. It's only going to have a certain hours that we're going to be able to see it. And some of the best viewing, at least access to viewing, is going to be in North America. Partial eclipse is going to begin at 728 on the West Coast. Total begins at 829. It's going to end at 954, and the partial will end just before 11 p.m. Clearing skies are ahead in the forecast and warming conditions as well. So although we'll be reaching highs in the 90s for the valley over the weekend, those overnight lows are going to be just perfect for viewing. If you're headed over to the Bay Area, sunset about 815 or so and temperature staying steady in the mid 50s. We'll see a little bit of patchy clouds forming, but for the valley, it's clear skies, beautiful conditions right around 80 at 8 p.m. 75 at 9 p.m. There's our uh, 10 p.m. temperature at 70 degrees again. Sunset right around 815 or so. The foothills where we get away from that amb uh, the lights from the city, we should see really glorious uh, skies there. 62 at 8 p.m. 60 at 9 p.m. 58 again clear skies at 10 p.m. Sunsets a little bit earlier at about 810 to 805 and Lake Tahoe. Beautiful picture up there as well. Temperatures in the 50s right through our total eclipse and even the partial eclipse, our sunset right around 8.05. So region wide throughout central and northern California should see some beautiful conditions for viewing that lunar eclipse Sunday night.